Hello, this is Dr. Riaz with another episode of Be Smart Fight Strong series of videos. And in today's video, our topic is how to manage the mouth inflammation and mouth ulcers that happen when patients are getting chemotherapy. Be sure to watch my other videos. There's a lot of educational stuff. So visit my online video library, www.onlineoncology.com. You will find a lot of educational stuff with a lot of actionable tips and tricks that you can apply to make your cancer journey a bit easier. So let's dive into today's topic. So the mouth inflammation or mouth ulcers is a common side effect to several different chemotherapies and more than 50% of the patients who are getting chemotherapy uh, will experience this problem. Now this is a huge problem because it limits your ability to eat food, it is painful, uh, it, it decreases your quality of life, it can also interfere with uh, your nutrition. What are the tips that you can apply to uh, decrease the risk of developing this at first place? And if you do develop this, then how you can uh, increase the healing ability of your body? Now, the first tip that I want to share with you is maintain a good oral hygiene. Now, let me elaborate this a little bit further. Now, um, it is a good practice to keep a good oral hygiene and um, a brushing teeth at least twice a day. Uh, morning and evening is a good habit, but when you are getting chemotherapies, you will have to do a little bit more than that. Uh, and uh, that means that uh, before even starting chemotherapy, if you have cavities or some gum disease or uh, some other uh, teeth problem, you may want to visit with your dentist and get your uh, oral health uh, optimized uh, even before starting chemotherapy. Once you have started chemotherapy, then uh, be very proactive in your uh, uh, oral hygiene. So meaning that you are at least brushing and cleaning your mouth uh, three times a day. Similarly, uh, make it a habit to use a mouthwash. Uh, ideally, a uh, non-alcoholic uh, antiseptic mouthwash is the best because um, usually the alcoholic mouthwash may give you a very uh, unpleasant uh, feeling in the mouth, it may hurt uh, your mouth. It is also a good habit to examine your mouth uh, twice a day in the mirror and uh, you should be looking at ulcers in the mouth and most importantly if there are any white patches on your palate, uh, at the back of your throat or on your gums or on your tongue, then be sure to bring this to the attention of your doctor because the white patches can be sign of a fungal infection and for that you will need a prescription antifungal medicines uh, to treat that and this can be a very painful uh, condition therefore examining the mouth uh, at least twice a day uh, is a very good habit. My next tip would be that use a soft toothbrush you don't want to use a hard uh, toothbrush because your mouth is already very uh, raw and um, you don't want to traumatize it any further my next tip would be about the foods that you can take during the time when your mouth uh, is not in its best shape. So foods like porridge, jello, uh, bananas, uh, pureed food uh, is actually good uh, compared to taking the hard food like, um, you know, um, like potato chips, um, uh, they can be hard. And any crispy food uh, can traumatize your mouth further. Therefore, taking a soft pureed food uh, is the best idea when you are struggling with uh, inflammation in the mouth and ulcers in the mouth. Uh, similarly, uh, try to completely avoid uh, any uh, exposure to tobacco, whether it's smoking or dipping. Uh, also, uh, complete abstinence from alcohol uh, is very important during that time to help the healing process. The next tip that I want to share with you are the signs and symptoms in which you should be calling your doctor. Uh, because mouth inflammation and mouth ulcers uh, can be so unpleasant and can limit your ability to eat and drink that you can very easily get malnourished and uh, you can also get dehydrated very easily. So be, uh, be mindful that uh, some of the conditions in which you really want to call your doctor is extreme redness or extreme 
tenderness in the pain. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, if you see the white patches on the tongue and on your palate or on your gums, uh, if you have um, uh, inability to eat or drink anything for more than 24 hours, uh, because you're going to get malnourished very fast and you're going to get dehydrated very fast. So to counter that, uh, your doctor may want to give you some IV hydration or uh, recommend you some other medicines to help help you heal faster. Um, similarly, if you uh, develop any fever, uh, that's another big red flag and you may want to call your doctor. So that's all I have uh, on today's topic. Be sure to uh, send me any questions that you might have at ask at onlineoncology.com. I'll see you soon with another video. Thank you very much.